call the Alton Budget Committee meeting to order for uh, September 15, 2011 at 6.30. Do the roll call. Stand on my left. Terry Noyes, school board. Mark Decoff. Google. Barbara Holland. All right, let's do the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Okay. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Any public input? <laughs> I'll take a motion for approval of the gender. If you could take a minute to look at it. that's going to be doing the minutes does not know you people no. and if they can't hear the people talking they're not going to be able to know what they're saying hey steve we we got to stay at the mic so the uh, yeah, to be changed, right? Yeah. But I, I think this will work fine mm -hmm. on the 17th. Is that the first day of school budget? Yep, 17th and 29th. Yeah, we should be able to. Yeah, it looks fine to me. 
what is this? I just got this. Russ. Yeah, he called. He says school, school, and then school departments. So I didn't know. That's I don't, I don't just know. three meetings is what you're looking at, correct? Yeah. Russ just did this. It's just a draft. Yep, that's fine. I, I don't think that that should be a problem. I know that we're supposed to finalize right around that meeting, the last meeting of October. Yeah, for anybody that wants to know, uh, we have budget work sessions on the 13th, the 17th, and the 20th. At what time? Um, 6 o'clock. At ACS? Yeah, in the library. I uh, know, and probably in the music room. having another meeting on October 20th after or do, do you want to do it quicker well I think you because gonna, they're going to finalize their budget on to October 11th I think you've also got to add one to the school we never get done school without four or five of them I think you should add another school in here whether it's change out the open and start them a couple days early or well, we've got that open one. I just leave it. I just open one. The school comes. See the open ones before the school comes. Right. Maybe you should put the open one at the end. Right. Yeah. Move all those up. So we can. Because we always end up stuck somewhere in the school budget. Thursday, November tenth is open too. It just doesn't show. So do you want to make Thursday, November tenth the open one? No, make that the first school. Will that work? Well, what I'm saying is, is if we bump the open one up to November 10th, and then we just take November 15th to make it school, and have four schools. Are you going to do the open one? Uh, That's a what do you think? Because Vir Virgil thought we needed four, so we usually do. So, so, so you start the you start November 10th as a school, right? Okay, so we go November 10th. A school. School. And then that November 15th, that would have been open. Do you want to make that school? Yeah, make that school. School. And then school. And then the November 29th is the open one. Right. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be better before right. Thanksgiving to get them all out of the way instead yeah. of coming back after. So it'll be the 10th, the 15th, the 17th. Yep. And then we'll make November 29th the open. Is just if needed. Oh, wait a minute. Night? Where's oh, wait a minute. December 1st would have been the open one. Look, Sorry. My, my suggestion, to make sense, is use the December 1st. By that time, the, the, the uh, high school budget should be in. I can use that day to, the, you know, to um, and go, just kind of go over the high school budget as opposed to just accepting a meeting like we have in the past. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. We can have Q and if we if we set it as the high school, if we have questions, we can ask um, people from the, uh, the high school school board, you know, to help us out with some answers. Hi. Yeah, the high school board. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. I don't think you're going to get Bunstead to come in and no. Here, no. but no, I'm talking about like by, by Tola Nucci. Uh, oh, the administration, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so I'm sure they'd like to know what it is. So yeah, why don't you have them carve out? Uh, December first for the high school. So PMS. PMS. Is that okay? Yeah. So the tenth is school. Yeah. The fifteenth is, is school. school. Yeah. The seventeenth school is school. And so then the twenty ninth. The twenty ninth is the open one. Do you want to move the high school up and have the open one after that? I don't know. I don't care. It's I don't. Uh, well, the 29th, how close is that to? 29th is a Tuesday, December 1st um, is a Thursday. It's 
not Thursday. Two days apart. Thanksgiving is the 24th, if that's what you were wondering about. Yeah. <laughs> it probably makes sense to have the open one last. All right. So it's fine. Switch the high school in the open. To the 29th? Yeah. 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 And have the last one open. Right. That makes sense now. If needed. The last one is open if needed. And then we go into CIP. That, that, that would be the end of the When are, are you, when you, are you going to have all the warrants too? Usually you do those on a separate night. You've done that in the past. Yeah, I just don't see it yet. I mean, our CIP is most of our warrants. You know, we'll be on separate warrant until I would say. Right. Um. Which one? Do you want the public hearing for the town first? Yeah. Okay, and the public, so the public hearing for the town is the third. The snow day to the fifth. Right, and the public hearing for the school is the tenth. Is that good? You usually do two separate nights? Yeah. 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 I can't. Yeah, we have to. Yeah, that's fine. So do the town on the third and do the school on the tenth. tenth. I don't know how that will figure when we set our meeting. Yeah, we still have time to change it around if we have to. Yeah. With a snow day. I know it has to count back so many days, so right. I'll ask that question though. Hey, there's no frost tonight, so not that. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman? Yes. Is it possible for the schools to give a list of the dates that they're going to have, for instance, in, you know, just in writing, just so we have a budget, their budget committee meeting, the finance committee meetings concerning the budget? At the high school? Uh, no, both. The high we school. don't have a finance committee in Alton. Okay. We just meet as a board. And they do that. That was the uh, 13th, 17th, and 20th. 20th. That's when we right. that, Those are our workshops. And then and, and then a calendar for the date for when the high school winds up. In case somebody can't make it. And get yeah, I don't, I, I honestly don't know. Um, I am not on the finance committee at the high school, so I'm not sure. But I'm sure we can get a calendar from them. So the school calendar from the central school and the high school. Alright. So the calendar looks good for now until we meet yeah. again, right? Yeah. And you know, this is just a quick a question um, for the board. When we do the posting, because some, you know, meeting well. No, no. When we do the posting, lately there has been some people coming in for public input. Maybe it's one or two or three, but there has been. Should we post with the departments that we're going to be speaking to, or should we just keep it general? I'd keep it general, because we might have to switch it, because somebody okay. couldn't make it. That's, that, <laughs> we're tied. Right. I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, uh, be helpful for the people. Right. When you want to show up for highway, you not care about the animal control, you know what I mean? Right. Can we use the, um, you can't, we wouldn't be able to post a tentative schedule subject to change. No, you can't do that around. because you should do You it. could do a separate one, a separate list like this, and have it posted out there, tentative subject to change. Yeah. That's a good idea. Sure. I think, I, think, I think we should do that because some people may have some issues, for instance, with legal and not care about anything else. Yeah, it would be good to let So them. if we finalize this, mm -hmm. make it say on the 20th, can it's, we publish it in the paper? Yeah. Well, that would put it out on the budget Public committee board schedule. Yeah, get, publish the whole thing. In other words, have it be typed up. Right. And, and, just, and just put it out there. Let's put it in the paper. Except, 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 except you're not going to do the last call. Except you won't do the last column for the departments, you will for the school, for instance, CIP and the public hearing. Why can't we put the whole thing up there. for the, which departments so they know the what they thing. want to show up? Well, just like we get it. And then at the at the end, say, subjects to change if... Is well, I'm only concerned is, let's say, for instance, you have street, you have street lights as the last one on Tuesday, yeah, well, and you don't get to it, okay? Oh, wow. Is there enough time for Thursday to put the, put it on street lights for Thursday? Well, if you make the rate, then we get it. People come to 
Okay. Is this on the town website? Is That's this a public place it should go? Yeah, I don't think so. Well, what, I, what I'm thinking is, is that we can make a public notification that, and to see the schedule to check the town website, and then we can do a hard copy out on the. I'm gonna put a board here and one down the post office. Yeah. All right. I mean, as long as it's subject to change, we can't be held to it. I mean, it's gonna whatever's gonna happen, this happens. I mean, yeah. you know, as well as I do it. Some meetings we go all night on one thing. <laughs> can't wait. Sometimes two nights. Anything else on this? All right. I say tonight we appoint our three. Well, I also want to. Uh, PMSH. Who's going to be on the PMSH? Yeah, no, because I got another question. Oh, this. Okay, sorry. I think you should sit down with Russ. Because if they're getting highway on September 26, we don't need to wait for that big budget until November. See what I'm saying? You get some yeah. of these big budgets and push them up so we can get into them. The police, the highway, He's right. the tax and racks. I mean, we don't have to wait a month and a half for them to get done with it. They'll be done with it. Actually, doing that, uh, so you get police on Thursday, and then, um, and then you have the fire, which is two big ones, the next meeting, and then you have highway, which is a big one. So what he tried to do is keep one big one for each of those meetings. I know. But uh, can you move highway up to the 25th? They're not done by then. They're doing it the 26th. That's a month out yeah. if you went to the 25th. They're doing, yeah, they're doing it on the September 26th. Yeah. They should be done by the 15th of October. But the pro problem is, is we don't know if we did that schedule because so many complications. Why don't, why don't we ask, ask, if, 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 we, ask if we could, you know, I, I agree with um, Virgil, ask if they could move highway up to, to the, the 25th. You know, any of the big budgets, if they're done with them, ship them. So we don't like have we to do police and highway the same night. No. Well, you know. No, we can't, but we so you're going to do a month and a half. Right. Oh, I agree with that. You know, we can push one in or two in, at least the war room, so we know what not looking at. And then we can go back and discuss them out. Right. Okay. Okay, so I'll see about moving that one up. So then I'd say move the uh, patriotic and street lights down to, I'd say move the street lights and patriotic down to November 3rd. So you're not, you're not jamming that up? Yeah. You know, in terms of moving the departments around, I'm, I vote to leave that up to you and Russ to negotiate. Yeah. Right. You know, would I just... I'm just, just, when they're done with the big departments, yeah. we would like to get it to the wall. Yeah. Those are what takes shoes up time. Yeah, just let us know what... I mean, they're big kind of, Just have to pick up a new schedule. The whole yeah. well, thing is, yeah, if, we could get, if we could get money that's... Uh, been contingent and money that's been transferred between lines, lines or anything else to cover different stuff. Memos on that for both the path of the town and school. I know I ask it. <laughs> we'll try it. But you want a list of things that, that yeah. um, information we're going to need? I want to take a look at this one. Just you. For meetings. How yeah. the budget has grown in you want to do that now? Yeah, you want to? Yeah, I know. All right, so we want a list of transfers, right? From line to line? From line, yeah, line to line. Who are you requesting? Is this the school again? Yeah. Both? Line. Both. From school. I thought you already got that, no? And. You need it up to date. From school oh, and. Oh, yeah. We also need a list of all um, uh, revenue lines, an up-to-date accounting on all revenue lines, and an up-to-date accounting on all trust accounts. Then we we'll do the JMM 29 and we we'll leave December. That will all be in your book when you get it. And then we the town. So you want these with the book? A school, the public. Yep. yep. And you have a draft. And okay. then the drafts all change. So and, and a list of yeah. trusts? Yeah. You know, the we need to know what the balances are in balances. each of the We need ba what, what has been, what has come in, what has gone out for the year, and the final balance. Or the balance as of whatever they, you know, they can provide. Okay, and 
on the um, charitable on the charitable um, request. Yeah. Okay. Um, you know, we'd like the percentage used for administrative costs. The list of what? Oh, this is the charitable for the town. This is the percentage used, you know, for the percentage used for expenses and, and the percentage used for all for the town of Alton. Percentage used. The percentage of dollars, hard dollars used no. for the town of Alton. And any accounting for the town of Alton that they have to in other words, if they want to sell us on the idea of giving money, you know, you know, for the charity. Oh, to say how many people are using it? Yeah, you know. Percentage you know, of people using it? No, percentage of money used for Alton. Yeah. Or, or high dollars, either one. I don't, you know, okay. figure either one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, and the number of people? Served. You know, another number of people served. Okay. We always, um, we need a list of all, um, uh, fuel costs, you know, by department, or you don't write it down. Uh, I'm asking you, either um, total for the town or the fuel department, you know, the amount, you know, versus the previous year. Okay. See, you know, we can we can, you know, come up with let's say a price that makes sense. Let's say three seventy five or four dollars for gas, right? But we need to know for. What's the total amount of fuel gallons? Usage. You know what? You know what's the you know what's the usage? Okay. Uh, let me think. So. Does any and does anybody want any of this? Um, uh, an accounting for a particular line, for instance. Um, uh, Mileage or anything like that. I just throw that out. I don't. But you know, a town, a town accounting for for uh, a particular expense town wide. No, I just like to see okay. if money was if it's been moved around it. Okay. Because we ran shot in one area, not not the other. Okay. The only the only question I have, and I'm not sure if this is uh, an appropriate question to ask on the board, or if I should do it at a selectman's meeting as a citizen, but. Um, the Parks and Rec, um, the budget has been growing, and I'm just curious to see if the participation in the programs that we offer are growing along with the expenses to justify the expenses to the taxpayers. And it's more a curiosity thing than anything, um, just because I think it's a good checks and balance. So do you think I should... Uh, Can we get that from... Is, that's appropriate. Sure. Thank you. The selectmen. The number of um, uh, participants. Yep. To the programs that we yeah, offer. For all the programs that we're offering. I say usually we do pretty good at the participation. Yeah. Well, it would be good to see that because yeah. I think, you know. I think people should know. I'd like to see an itemization of the legal account. Uh, you know, in other words, not just, you know, for instance, Cessna, X amount of dollars, but broken down per case. Per case? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. He, he does it in the law firm. He bills that way. That's how he bills it. I know. Right next to the billing, he'll I say John Jones, you know, Alton V. John Jones, $400. Well, it said in the paper how much we spent for legal fees. I know, I just like But I'm just saying yeah. it, it's out in the public in yeah. the paper, so sure. it's not anything. And when I say legal fees, I mean from the legal account that I don't know where, for instance, settlements would go if it would go into the legal, you know, um, and the legal fees, fees or whatever. Well, they have a special account for that. They yeah, the whatever account, you know, um, set, you know set, uh, settlements, if there's been more than one, you know, a breakdown on, you know, more than one individual breakdown on that. And I'm curious if we've seen any savings with the new phone system. How that's working. Um, if, if we have if we have committed um, prices for fuel, propane, you know, you know, um, this is last year. We haven't yet. Hmm? We haven't yet. We're working on those. So we're if the school has 
Um, locked in any prices on any of the different fuels? You'd be interested in those prices? Well, is it possible for the town and the school to work together on it? You have? Yeah. Okay. The school can't go up to, up to the um, Department of Transportation and get um, no, but they could. I think we, can, we do for gas. They can, we can ask the companies if they'll want the same for the town. Gotcha. We we do for gas. That's what I'm asking. See, they don't connect gas. with the September. Right. Companies will say, okay. But truck gas, we go over the. Oh, we do? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, that's what I was asking. Because there's no yeah. taxes. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? No. Water. Can we just uh, take a minute, just look at the first six, for instance, and see if there's any requests on uh, for the first, um, on the, for the 25th? Does anybody want to? Well, we're going to have a meeting on the 20th. Oh, okay, so we'll be able to. Will that be enough time to get the information between the 20th and 25th? Well, we got to see if we can move the highway department. Right. So. Mm -hmm. Mark, when we have a meeting before the 25th? Uh, if you look at the bottom of the... On October 20th, I want to schedule it. Okay. I didn't see it here, Lauren. And just tell me the bridge one. If you know where it is, where's the, where's the bottom number for the budget? I haven't, I haven't even got the book yet. You've got the book yeah. before I got it. Right on the table. It's on the um, table. That's what I'm going to get. That's why I need to look at the book. No, usually we have a summary page that says what the budget is. Well, he's probably working on it. I'm sure he's working on it. Okay. He'll have to begin another one. Yeah, that one's right. Throw that page out. What do you mean you haven't got the book yet? It's your book. You should see the box. Well, yes, I, just, <laughs> I just walked in the door. <laughs> You'll have those. Yeah, we always have those. He's working on it. All right, so, we good there? Yeah. So, uh, we have to do budget, we have to do the budget. For the, uh, yeah, I have to do the budget for the budget committee. Good morning. You sure you want to come in here? Uh, so do we want to appoint our three people to the Prospect Mountain High School budget committee tonight? Coming through. <laughs> I don't mind. I mean, I, I think oh, Barbara, I'd like to see Barbara. Um, she did it on the. You filled in for me last year, right? I would, I would like to yeah. see Barbara. Okay. So I'll give up my position, position to Barbara. Okay. Does you know if Doug wants it? Right Doug do it? Um, I don't know, and I really don't want to speak for him. So. Do it, do it. Sure, we'll see Barbara. Now, who ends up chairing it? Is it Alton? This year? Who did it? It must be. Because Paul is on So, do you decide here who's going to chair? No, no. No, you have to decide when the three from there and the three from here okay. get together yeah, and then they set it up. You vote there. Okay. Who's going to chair? All right, I'll second. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Who, who are we picking? Steve. Dougie. Barbara. Barbara. Steve. 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 Okay, you motion and you second it. Yeah. All right, you want to take a vote? Mark. You got to, you're going to have to state, you're going to have to use your names because it's being recorded. We'll stop at my left. Terry Noyes, yes. Mark Dekoff, yes. Bill Upstein. Roger McDowell, yes. Howard Upstein. Lauren Kai, yes. Approved. So that's uh, Dr. Barber and Steve are going to be on the PMHS budget committee this year. Possible. Because if he doesn't, it's you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> See, somehow I make it over there every year. Yeah, oh, uh, and uh, Virgil will be the alternate. Yeah. <laughs> That's well done. <laughs> You're appointing him. Yes. <laughs> now we know why you wanted to be the chair. <laughs> no, that wasn't me. All right. Anything? Oh, Russ is here. Russ, on these, uh, 
schedule it? Yeah, I have. I have got, but I have a question for you. Yeah. When you guys do the highway, like on the 26th of September, you're doing highway? With the selectmen? Any other? Any way we can move them up on ass so we don't get them in the beginning of November, we get them like October sometime, beginning of October? We sometime. want to do them October uh, 25th. You know, 15th even? You know what I mean? Get, get the no, because we're not budgets. Get the big budgets when you're done and move them right over to us. No, we don't. Set up, wait for our date. No. Uh, yeah, you. No, we'll, we'll move it to the ground unless the department head is, like, say, on vacation or gone. Yeah, that's what I said. That's the only issue. We, I can change them based on like, what you want. We'd like to get the, the major budgets pushed over as soon as you're done with So, 25th or 27th, you want to the highway? No, the highway, because you got the police department on the 27th. Yeah, you're not going to go with the So we'll move the highway. Even before the 25th. We, we, our next meeting is the 20th. So we'll move them to the 20th. But no, we'll I won't. I don't think. No, I got to get your books ready. Yeah, the 25th is fine, I think. You mean our books are here? He said you had a magic wand. Oh, I <laughs> Hey, Russ, what is the total budget? You don't have the front page here. So no, I don't. What is all this add up to right now? That's on a need to know basis. What does this book add up to? Those, those books, those aren't your books. Oh. Please put them back when you're done. Oh. Those are the selectmen's books. They're not even complete yet. <laughs> Steve, those are our books. books. <laughs> they didn't have enough. You already wrote them. I was wondering why you were sitting there with books. They're not ready yet. The selectmen haven't even met. I'm uh, still meeting. I just told them that. I didn't have the book yet. <laughs> Mine's ready. No, those aren't your books, gentlemen. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. <laughs> I like yeah. these binders. This the draft. Is this part of books? Is this draft done? That's is this you. part of a book or is this a no, That's yours. That's, 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 that's why I want to go over tonight. Okay, so we want to move the highway department to the 25th, October 25th. And then we'll move patriotic and street lights. Well, I'll move over. Yeah, I'll rearrange those on the 25th. Those will go down to the 8th. November 8th. Or probably no, welfare third. too. You mean the third? Third? Third. I had highway in on the third. Oh, okay, yeah, third, sorry. Russ, I've crossed out most of this. So where are we moving streetlights to? I'd say move welfare, patriotic, and streetlights to the November 3rd. Alright. Now you want to move solid waste. That's a good size That's budget. Good budget. Well, where do you want to move it to then? It, it goes I'll move it all down to the third. I mean, we can have but the library and conservation do not take a lot of time. Okay, so move, just sw switch the two? Yeah, and okay. I'll move those around. But Mark, we have to. You told me on the 15th. We've got plenty of time to post it if we can get these budgets. We don't have to wait till the 20th. If we can get the budgets in, we can start on the 15th or the 7th or whenever. All right. Post a meeting and have a meeting and, and start with I would rather the earlier the better than to wait until we get into everything and then we got big budgets coming in on us. Well, you usually are through all the town stuff. If you look at this, you're through all the town stuff by November 8th. Then you're starting on the school, mm -hmm. which is the way you've always done it. Yeah, but we're never done with the school by November 8th. More time. That's what the fire is. But we're never done with them by November 8th. Mm -hmm. Maybe just a few little. Once it ends, but you come well, with the majority I, of it. I may not even have insurance. There might be certain things I'm still waiting for. Right. Oh, no, we will actually do every meeting. You can do it with the papers and say, throw that booklet out and take this one. Right. It, it, it isn't a static thing that doesn't right. change. We're in, we're in constant okay. change. Uh, but yeah, I can. I was just asking if you, if you get the big. You know, I mean, I'll be not for this because the selectmen are going to finish. By the 11th, they could get delayed. Then I gotta have the books prepared for us. All right. All right. Well, we'll have to be flexible. Be oh, hey, the other thing is a list of all transfers from line to line for the town. We don't do transfers. What we do is we look to underrun certain parts of the budget to cover where we're over. We do not do transfers, and it's not required by statute. Okay. Now I can tell you. What we're looking to underrun to cover overages. Right. Right. Okay. I can do that. Yep. But even that this changes. Changes. Subject to change. Right. Yeah. But, you know, 
I brought up to the selectmen the other day that we're probably going to be over but in legal and in the hiking fund. Between the two and the hiking fund. Yeah. Now that's covered by the trust fund, but it still counts. You took that much of a boost. No, we we cut back on it, but then the service requirements that's increased. I mean, we, we upped the service. But no, the hiking fund itself, though, we've, the reason we cut back too is the hiking fund was running out of right. funds. Right. So we're, we're trying to balance it. So uh, we did cut back some of the services, but it's still going to be about 15000 over. Can we? And the legal is going to, but now that'll be covered by the hiking trust fund, but it still counts against the bottom line, even though right. the funds aren't coming from taxes, they're coming from the fund. Still counts against the bottom line, so I still have to cover it by taking the 15. We're not draining that down. No, it's not draining it down, but we still have to be very careful because we're not making any interest. Well, the reason I'm asking is it was putting in like a warrant article to add money to it. I mean, it's sometimes it's worth putting 25,000 into an account like that to earn the interest to save it. There is not earning interest. You're not earning interest. That's a problem. Well, I know, and that's why I'm saying if we put a uh, one article mm -hmm. to add a certain amount of money to it to help it through the year or two years, whatever it's going to take, to get back to the seat. Can I ask a question? Well, that would be something for number That's one to select. That's kind of the that way is, is because we do have these funds. Halton is probably one of the few towns, if, if only the one, only one, that has this type of hiking fund. Right. I had never have seen it before. Well, that's what I mean, sure. and it's a shame to let it, we dwindle away at it. When we well, that's why we cut back. If you go back, if you go back three years ago, we used to have like almost 50,000 in there, and then we cut it about three years ago down to 25, and we were right. trying to hold that line, you know, and it may be better next year. It, you don't know who the clients are going to be until they walk through the door and right. they qualify for the services. But that's why I'm asking, is it worth put, putting a warrant article up to say, all right, we need one year fix of thirty thousand to carry it two years, or fifty thousand to carry it two or three years until that would be something for change. the selectmen to decide on. And well, secondly, we should look at it. Lauren. We'd have to look at. I guess if town meeting approved it, it could be done. Could be like money out of service. Out of service. Out of service. Well, we can get the numbers, and we'll get the trustees of trust funds to get the numbers when we discuss it. Yeah, it might be something to look at the, because it's a shame to dwindle away at. And all the services that we're providing money for, you're sure that those services couldn't be found elsewhere in the in the state or well it's set up they all work together, right? Because well they a lot of them are under get state assistance also. We provide we don't provide any nursing. Okay. We only provide uh, like a day assistance where they go in and they do some shopping for them, they help do house cleaning, fix a meal for them, stuff like that. Uh, and now is this for elderly? It's strictly for people who are elderly, uh, or they could be possibly disabled, but almost all the clients we have are elderly. Right. And the whole idea behind the hiking fund, which was the guy, when the, yeah. when the gentleman died, he left the money to the town to help keep senior citizens in their homes yeah. and not in nursing homes. Right. That is the intent. We all should do it to hear him Maybe, he was um, sick. I'd like to, I could sit and talk with you because I, do have a lot of resources and stuff and I just go through it just yeah. maybe half an hour yeah minutes and probably something. want to do it with yeah. sit down with Pat we'll have Pat there too because Pat Rock yeah. is the one who runs it because yeah, I know things are changing all the time too with that so hi Thank Terry you. no they answer okay uh, Mr. Chairman yeah um, I don't see a spot for Warren articles when, when are we going over Warren articles you guys just see, all you have in there is CIP right now right uh, you have an open night on the 15th of November. No, we don't. We changed that to school. school. Oh, you did? Okay. Our open night is December 1st now. We wanted to get to school in before we had an open in case we had to move it to do the budget. All right. So, December 1st could... Now, the only thing is, though, um, we have to double check. I don't have the CIP schedule in front of me. Normally, you don't want to start talking about your capital items until you've had your CIP right. presentation. Right. So what you could possibly try to do is flip. The open with the CIP? Make the open the CIP, and I'll talk with Ken, 
McWilliams about it and then make the seventh your Warren articles. Okay. Now you got to remember too, there's another thing I haven't, I gave to one of your members uh, the other night. Did you pass those out? I did not. I only okay. have the one copy. Uh, I've got some more here. I'll pass them down. This is the uh, kind of the, all the critical dates between now and March that you have to be aware of. January 13th, or 10th, wait a minute, what is this? Uh, 10th. It's the last date for bond issue. Right, so the only thing would be is that you could get a petition article up until January 10th. So what Warren articles you would do on the 1st and the 7th, those would be those that are coming in from the departments and the Board of Selectmen. You just have to be aware that you could get so, a petition. So we're... We, Oh, okay. So okay. we're going to, we, we wanted to have our public hearing for the town on January 3rd, but we could still get a warrant article up to January 10th? Yeah. Yep. So we can't have our public hearing. You can have your public hearing, but you want to hold the second one if you get any petitions. Oh, I don't want to do that, do you? <laughs> you to well, the question is, do you want to put... What's right for the voters? The last day to hold your public hearing is the 17th. If you look at this critical sheet... And I, you know, it's your final decision, but I've always pushed you to do them a little early because that way it yeah. gives you a cushion. Right. Something goes so, wrong or something. So like if that. we do our town public hearing on January 3rd and then we're doing our school on the 10th, if we had to, we could do another one for warrants. You could do on the 10th, you could have the school and then you could do the warrant articles if there are any. Yeah. Right. I mean, if there are any. If anybody oh, petitions. There's a lot of years. Petition, we don't get petition money articles. It's yeah. actually very rare to get a petition money yeah. article. Now, now that I say that, we'll get some. But. <laughs> Thanks. I'm working on a whole town. There's always that petition to secede from the notion. Manchester County. So, <laughs> then Mark, what we're talking about is, is a change December 1st to CIP. Yep. And then the, December 7th for Warren Articles. Yep. Okay. Because I'm going to go ahead and have this retyped. That's school and town. Warren oh, do you think you'll have, yeah, it'd be good if, if you... No. I'm well, just going to say Warren articles. articles. Yep. When are we going to do the regular Warren Articles? That would be that night. That yep. night. December 7th. Yep. Right. Okay. So do the CIP before on the... Uh, first. First. Okay. So this... I haven't got much more space yet. So just so that I'm I can gonna, make sure I'm going to put right. out, I'll have a new one typed up. So this is just for everybody. Can I just go over it and then you can tell me if I have it right? All right. Please. So uh, November 10th, November 15th, and November 17th, school, the Alton Central School. 10th, 15th, 17th. Yep. Right. Then November 29th, the JMA or the Prospect Mountain, right? right? Yep. The high school. And then the December 1st is going to be open. No, December 1st, we're switching to CIP. Oh, it's going to be CIP. There we go. Okay, and, and then January 3rd is the town. No, December 7th is the Warren Articles now. Okay. Warren Articles for school. And then December 10th, we had down for the school, but that's no more. December 10th? No. I mean, January 10th. January 10th? Yeah, no, I'm. January 10th is the public hearing. The public hearing. Oh, the December 7th is the warrant articles for the town and the okay. school. Town school. January, and January 1st is CIP. Yep. And January 3rd is the town public hearing. Okay. And then the two snow dates. Mr. Chairman? Yep. Um, what are when, when you, like, you doing the public for this town? Uh, January, January 3rd. January 3rd, town. The school is the 10th. Town is the school is the 10th, okay. And so, you're going to have to guesstimate what we're going to do if we do a petition article. Is only that open? We might be able to do it 
Oh, if you got it on the 10th, we couldn't do it on the 10th. If you got one on the 10th, could we do it on the 10th? Yeah. It has to be a money petition anyway. It could be. Right. Could, it doesn't have to be. If it's a non money article, you're going to need to right. right. you don't worry. So we could do it the same night as the school. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. yeah. Just have another meeting posted yeah. for right. after the school meeting. Um, Tim, 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 Go ahead. Tim Cruz from the Bayside um, said he wants to attend the budget meetings. So, two things. I suggest that you send him a schedule. And number two is, as long as I'm sending the schedule as a, as a uh, public service, would you mind uh, uh, publishing, pub it. publishing it? What do you think? Yeah. Okay. I'm sure he'll do it. So when you get that schedule finalized, I can. Yeah, I'll get it to you. It's T. Want an email? T. Cruz at. Would it be uh, easier for you, Mark? Yeah. Get an email. Yeah. It's T. T. Cruz at um, gmail.com. I think it's C-R-O-E-S, you have to look that up, I forgot how you spell it. Oh, I... It's Crow, it's like Crow, C-R-O-E-S. Oh, I mean C-R-O-S? Oh, yes. C-R-O-E-S. Hey. So, the other thing we want is a list of all revenues up to date. A list of all trust balances. Uh, any money that came not, in? Not just a list of the trust balances, amounts in, amounts out, and current balance. I was getting to that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, then on the charitable requests we get, mm -hmm. the percentage used for admin. We've asked for that. Okay. This percentage used going to uh, the town of Alton. Is that possible? And the possibly the amount of people served in Alton. We're looking for justification right. for the money. Right. right. And we if they want to give us the number of people instead of percentages. When we sent them the letter, we asked them to give us a break, you know, to tell us how much their admin cost was versus what their direct service was. Okay. They normally give us what, how many clients. It's almost, because they see that as part of their sales point, uh, telling how many people they serve within the community. If not, we'll call, we'll have, I'll have someone call and follow up. We're still receiving them. We haven't got them all yet. And then uh, a list of all the fuel usage. What was the last one? A list of all fuel usage. We for mean, buildings. Diesel. Yeah. And we have that on the spreadsheet already. Okay. Yeah, not by department. You know, for instance, total, total amount of propane used by the town. I track it by building. Huh? I track it by building. Okay, we can add it. No, it, we can do some totals for you. Right. Is it possible to ask the nonprofits to let us know where all the funding sources are from? Is this, or will they be able to provide that? Where do they get all their funding from? Well, obviously. If we can ask them, yeah. We never asked them before, we'll have to go back and ask for that. Well, it's just interesting. Because one of the, one of the nonprofits I found out after the fact last year they get they get um, for each town in the in the county donates then the county donates the state donates and they get federal funding so that's a lot of funding sources for you know so well I'll uh, leave that card we, back out we need re re uh, revenue figures for our water department. Uh, the water department will provide that for you. We can relay the message. Can, uh, <laughs> Could you relay the jazz Yeah, because we actually don't have that. We have to get it from them. Right. Uh, uh, all sources of revenue, not just the, um, you know, the fees. Not just the fees to the people. You know, whatever. I don't know if there's any other sources or not. Sure. There's eight, five grand to pay that. Well, then they're a user. Yeah. What a revenue. We'll, we'll relay the message. Although I got two hundred fifty dollars saved on my homeowners. For what? Right in Mountain County. No, Steve Collins said they got a five star rating. You know about the fire department? I thought you were talking about the water department. That's what I said. I had a five minutes on that. Oh. Nineteen twenty-two or whatever. That's the word. No. All right. Anything else? You shouldn't even be looking at that book, Steve. They're not ours.
I hope you're not writing that book. Write right Lauren's name in there. <laughs> the books aren't even done yet. I still have to go through things. And then the board does the board gets them next week. Oh, I just that's, good. that's good. Oh, well, that's okay. There's nothing confidential there. Yeah. You can look and see how much we do work we do before you get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, how much work Russ does. Yeah. Thank you. Hey. Okay. Anything else? Tim's email off the front of the card. Oh, yeah. the Gmail, that Gmail is not correct. You have to. I, I couldn't keep this card. We also. Well, you can make, want me to make a copy of it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you've heard in the newspaper we've had a washout, uh, two culverts on Reed Road. Uh, the board's currently trying to get those back fixed. That road is now. Pardon? Did we fix that road? 25 years old or more. Yep. Yeah. Um, so there's some added costs that we may have to come and talk to the budget committee about. Yeah, it's being treated, it's a bridge. It's classified as a bridge. The state actually recommended it be closed. We've kept it at a minimum three times just so that the people get in and out. There's 20, it's a one way in and out only over this bridge. And there's 24 homes in there. What's the so, company doing? What one they have a, they got a, right now they got another source they're using. One one right off the highway, right off the why don't you just charge the water department? No, no, no it's, it's not a, that it's this a is a private water company that they yeah, uh, they do bottled water. They all oh, they just, that's the that's the company. See if they'll fix the bridge. Big tanker. Well actually they built the bridge originally way back. They built it. So yeah, well, we accepted it. So we took it off. Yeah, it's a town bridge. Um, anyway, we have hired an engineering firm. We've been working with the state. It's going to be treated very. It's going to be treated under the bridge program, where we get an eighty percent reimbursement. So, it's going to so what do we have to do to, to uh, get eighty percent reimbursement? We have to follow certain procedures, which is what we're doing now. We've got to do a certain amount of quotes, bids, hire an engineer under a certain format. No, no, that's our first so we've done all of that. Actually, this was the bridge that I brought to you a year or so ago. I told you we were going to put it on the list, and it was already listed, red listed. Um, Has anyone um, compared if we just fixed it ourselves, or if we really need the eighty percent? What's the cost? What's it going to add? What's it going to work out either way? Yeah, it would. It would still cost us, even if we skipped all the state stuff. I mean. We can't skip DES regulations. I mean, whether we do it ourselves through the state program or not. In this situation, we would maybe save a few dollars, but not many. And we're talking probably, and this is a rough estimate because we don't have all the bids out yet. Uh, we're probably talking in the range of about $300,000 by the time we're done with engineering and replacement. But we also have to put in a temporary bridge. Bailey Bridge. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a it's going to go over the existing bridge, one lane only. Um, we haven't, they haven't finalized it. They're working on that design now because that has to meet engineering. But well, why wouldn't we just go get a Bailey Bridge and throw it in there? Cheaper to do the. It's cheaper to do what we're doing now. Um, It'll be I beams and. I beams in place and framing over it. Yeah. Um, but it would allow full load. Right now we've got to restrict it. That's what I mean. The Bailey Bridge would allow full loads and then we'd have to. Well, we got to have it in one lane, then we got to build the rest of the bridge, one, two phases, and everything else. Now, the thing is, we do have money in our bridge fund. More than likely, there won't be a sufficient amount. And I haven't run all the numbers yet because I still don't have them. So we may come back to. How much do we have in contingency? Uh, over $2 million. In the, well, you mean in the surplus? No, oh, the surplus. In the 15,000. 15, no, it's not even. <laughs> so, uh, we may come back and consider emergency funding. I'm not sure if we will have to or not. Uh, I don't know if any of you have been through that before. I think I did it once since I've been here. It's a part of the statute. The, the law allows for us to use part of the surplus. We went through it on 
procedure. Allow mm -hmm. us to use what? Some of the surplus. And you said that we have a little over two million on that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So so the thing is, is that I don't know what the shortage is going to be yet in the bridge fund because we hadn't planned on replacing the bridge this year. It's kind of a right. forced on us. Uh, so as soon as the final number is there and I review it with the selectmen and they decide what they want to do, then we would let the budget committee know. Uh, so moving, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go right ahead. Moving forward. Since the water company is using this bridge extensively, even though they built it, we accepted it, maybe moving forward with the new bridge, could there be like a surcharge or some monies in escrow from the water company or anything like that that Not could help? Time. It's too late. Future? It's too late. He pretty much put that they're just like any, uh, they're like any other property owner up there who have rights to go in and out. But he put a lot of money into that road and everything when he first did yeah. that. And if the, this will be built so that we're not going to be worried about, they're not going to have an impact on it. No, no. It's going to be designed to handle that. Yeah. What it's statutory really constraints do you have to the department to bring, to bring their budget towards the selectmen? Was there a percentage increase? Did you ask for a flat budget? What were their guidelines? What happened to the the Board of Selectmen uh, voted to give, based on the cost of living for July, which was 3.6%, they uh, approved, based on town policy, 3% COLA. Holding it to? Huh? Holding it to 3%. Right. right, no more than 3%. And all non-personnel items were to be level funded, unless there were some unusual reasons, and then the Board would evaluate those based on presentation. Now, is it level funded for the default budget? Yes. Or? Okay. Which puts us even more in a hole. Right. Because that was like sixty thousand dollars. And, and what did you use for a baseline for the coal? Dallas County, right? No, we used the Northeast CPI. For, for what? For for what? For a month? For a year? For six months? They, the board of selectmen picked uh, policy reads. If you look at the policy, it reads they take the month of July. And use that as the gauge for setting the coal. Could you, could, could I, could you um, uh, bring the uh, previous 12 months? Mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, uh, yeah, you can see that actually that. the year, because I remember looking at it and I gave a copy to the board. It started out around 2.8 in January and it's been, it was a steady climb right up through July. Yeah, I'm going to guess that, that it, it was near the high water mark. Right. You know, cause it, it, so, but the high water mark was 3.6, and, 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 and you drew the line at 3%, That's the which, is probably, which is probably close to the average of 2.8, yeah. right? Does that make sense? If you take the first six months. That's what I mean. Right. Okay. But I can get you that. It's right on, and actually it's right on the website for the state under economic development. <clears throat> I'll look it up. You no, I can get you a copy. I have it, Steve. Okay, I'll get the 3% rates. Everybody else is staff. Huh? Everybody else is staff and get nothing. So, so where is the budget going to be reduced to cover that 3%? It's not. It's not you could express your opinion when you were on your budget. No, it's going to, it's going to be level funded. Yeah. All non-personnel items are level funded. No, I just... Yeah, yeah. I, the selection hadn't I, even met yet on the budget, so... <laughs> yeah, we got the budget. <laughs> but they're working off the default budget. They're not working off the, right. they're not working off the, the, year the budget that was turned down. When's the last That's time they had this raise? No, the budget is... They got last year was 1.6%. What was voted in is the budget. The year before zero. Yeah, right. default. That's the one we work off of. Yeah, the default budget. budget. Yeah. That's yeah. what I mean. And every, every, year, every employee this year, Barbara, took a 2% yes. yes. increase on the retirement. We don't add what we wanted. No, no, I'm saying that, that was the right Wait a minute, thing. One, one person talk. Yeah. Hi. Every employee also got hit this year with a 2% increase in retirement. And how much did the town get 1.6. So we got hit too. The town actually, we dropped on the regular employees. The police didn't go up as bad as the original newspapers were saying. And what's the percentage that they put in for their uh, health benefits? Mm -hmm. have it. 10%. Thank you. All right.
I like the idea of going off the default budget. Well, you have to. That was the one voted in. Yeah. No, they could have chosen as a constraint yeah. to go off, you know, to, to go off the, over the previous budget or the one that was turned down. They made the decision to go off the default budget. They could have chose not to give 3% to it. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. All right. Anything else? Because next is public input. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next meeting is October 20th, 2011 at 6.30 at the Town Hall. Who's going to post that? I will, I will get that posted. Why don't we make a whole list of them post all? Well, we got to wait till he gets done with this. Why don't you ask him to add that in, that's all. You know what I mean? Then we just keep can, on posting. Can we right post now. all these once you get that done? Yeah. And could you add the uh, 20th? What day of the month? Is that October 20th at 6.30? We can just post off the whole list here, Russ. Yeah, that'll be good for... Mark? Is that a... Well, that's right, I'll look Mark. Is that a Tuesday or Thursday? Uh, I think it's a Thursday. Now, I got 6.20 uh, down here. Are you going with 6.30 or 6.20? 6.30. Uh, well, the October 20th is 6.30. Our regular, once we get into the budget cycle, 6.30. You want 6.30? Yeah. It, it takes you 10 hours to do housekeeping. Do you want everybody to sit through housekeeping? You know what I mean? No. I'd say start. I'd say start at 6. All right, you start at 6. Because right now I'm showing 6 o'clock, and then you're going to have the department head start at 6.20. Yep. You want to leave it that way? Yeah. All right. Uh, can we post along with that that after the public hearing for the town and the public hearing for the school that we will be having a budget committee meeting? Yes. After those public hearings, we're going to have another meeting right after. Okay. That way we can vote if something got changed or something. We don't get caught like we did last year. So. JMA one, you people do a JMA postings. With that, with that group. The JMA yes. is on uh, Tuesday once they have their, but once with once they have their meeting, and the three from there come together and they set up their schedule and you'll have to bring it back to us. Okay. Well that's just a general meeting, it's not a public hearing or anything, so no, but once you do that, you're gonna set up your schedule to hear the bud your budgets and everything else with the JMA, and then you're yeah. gonna bring that schedule back to us and we can post it. So is eleven twenty nine already set with Lancet? I have 1129 JMA. Where? No, that's the school's coming to us. That's the, they're coming to, to us. November 29th is Prospect Mountain High School to present. To the budget committee. This budget committee. Well, you oh. people got to post it. You're going to be there. That's, I messed that one up too. Okay. Are you expecting us to post that meeting? Well, <laughs> All these dates, right? Yeah, well, well it's not on the here. Well, we're going to show this. That's because you showed up late. He's posting on the budget committee. But they don't have a JMA. No, it's not going to be JMA. Yeah. High school. This is, this is school. This is school. Before the JMA even gets a hold of it, we're going to go over the budget here. So we know what's going yeah. on. So, okay, so this isn't the JMA committee. No, no this is going to be the budget committee. Just basically the Prospect Mountain High School budget. When you get this finalized, can you send it to me first before we post anything? Yeah, I'll have an email with you, Mark. I just don't want you to rely on us that we posted these JMA meetings. You're not going to be a secretary? No, 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 no. It's like, okay, I just don't. <laughs> no, we're only posting the budget committee meeting. Right, right. Okay. Right. Mr. Chairman, yeah. uh, this button doesn't work anymore. I hope, <laughs> I hope the police officer doesn't uh, show up. I, That's why you put him next to it, Virgil? Well, I didn't know, I didn't even know it was there. I was sitting here leaning against it and everything else. I never knew it until he came flying through the door. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Third. 
Thank you, we're going to get motion. Mark coming in. Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.